it works. Everything's in two-week blocks. Now, <coughs> people say, well, coach, if you have eccentric block, then do they lose those qualities? Not really, but if you really want to dig into e or, uh, block training, I always have this question. So then I'd say go isometric or some other quality. You just periodically, once or twice, have to re once really just readdress that quality. Okay, so if you go through a phase, even in rehab, go back to it maybe, just once if this blocks two to three weeks. If it's two weeks, not so much, but if this extends three to six weeks, then you periodically have to go back and address it. Okay, it depends what the quality. I'm not saying eccentric, I'm just saying if your qual training quality of uh, So let's call the strain that you put on the hamstrings, because this is usually a hamstring length test, is what it's the ability of the, of the hip joint to flex. Um, and it's considered to be a hamstring stretch. So let's say that the strain you put on the hamstrings is 100%. Oops. The strain on the iliotibial tract on the same side that you do the tag list is two and a half times the strain that's put on the hamstrings. Oops. You're really testing the iliotibial band when you do that test. However, you're not just testing that because 150% or one and a half times is in the ipsilateral lumbar fascia. If you listen to that Myers guy, he talks about the superficial back line that goes straight from the hamstrings through the surface of the sacrotuberous ligament and onto the lumbosacral fascia. So therefore, the ipsilateral lumbar fascia takes not the same amount of strain as the hamstrings, not a portion, a fraction of the strain that goes on the hamstrings, but one and a half times the amount of strain that goes on the hamstrings. Now this is, if you tell a doctor, I'm going to go through squats, this is the picture that they see. Oh, that's a great squat. By the way, these are 10 pound bumper plates because there's no way I'd put a significant weight on my back doing that. But again, even with bad form, would you just take a look at the feet? How many times if you watch someone do a squat, do their heels turn inward? If they can't do a body weight squat without their heels turning inward on flat shoes, if they're in running shoes, if they have to wear a shoe with an inch and a half difference between their heels and their toes, they don't have the right to put weight on their back. Don't do it. So.